inside here where it's it's actually not connected you can see exactly what's left there okay now you come over here and you've got and this is part of my kit my good wick which is a uh, desoldering braid you can see I've already used it you cut your end off okay and of course try to keep your desk as or your area as neat as possible. Now, I always like to use a little more flux. Of course, it is pre-flux, but I use a little more. The Kester just absorbs it so nice. And realistically, it makes your job a hell of a lot easier. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in on an angle, and I'm gonna just put the actual tip of this right on there. And you'll see it start bubbling, and as soon as this gets hot enough, now again, this is a lower quality solder. You can see it already not heating if it's not heating add a little a little solder come in and there we go once we get that solder contact point you can see it's tracking don't fight the solder now you see the color change you already got your actual solder wicking up on your desoldering braid now you want to remove this piece come down to a lower piece now you see how tedious this is so in terms of rework, this takes some time, not to mention all of the parts involved with this. I'm going to keep going in here. I'm just heating everything up. I'm going to do the same thing again. Get that nice and hot. And now I'll come in with some solder. I'm going to come right in. And you can see, done. And you'll see the chrome finish go right away. And that's telling me that that leftover residual solder is just not high quality. We're still not there yet, guys. So we're just going to keep going.